going on guys? Eggbuns here, Coach you Vancouver Tigers, and today we bring of the PBAL. We are currently 0-2. They're playing against Max Rapture and his Tasmanian Toxicroaks. I see I see a very, very bulk team. But really thick squad and open breakthrough right it. But you never know, he's got Got Clebable, Gladius, Tangrowth, Toxapex, Heracross, Porygon Z, Persian, Alola, Steelix, Hippopotas, and Stoutland. I don't think that the sound core is going to be weak since my sound core out does his. I think that he's going to bring probably, as you can see though, what I think he's going to bring Clebable, Gladius, Tangrowth, Toxapex, Heracross, and Porygon Z. He could bring Steelix, he could, um, and he could bring. Version, but I think those are the other six I think he's going to be bringing. We're bringing, obviously, our Latios with Rocket and Choice Specs. It hits everything extremely hard, except, um, obviously, except for the Cliff Able, but um, the other options, we have other things that are going to be able to handle that. We're rocking the Choice Specs, so be able to things extremely hard. We're going to be running Mega Meteor, Ice Beam. Sphere and Psychic. Psychic hits everything Latios and um, Draco hits everything except for the Latios. So. Those are stab moves and as long as we can maneuver around those guys uh, be okay but like I said he's got a regen core of Teoxapex and Tangrowth and, and Clefable which has the Either the unaware ability or the magic card, and that can be annoying in every single way. Porygon Z just hits really hard. Adaptability ability, 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 and then Latios just a Latios thing. So, the thing we have to worry about Latios and Latios is that all the length, speed, tie, and whatnot. So, um, this Latios hits a bit harder than Latios, obviously. So. That being said, next on our list, we're bringing uh, Leftovers Primarina. Rocking Torrent. Because I don't know if anything is really going to be running sub. And I think that Liquid uh, liquid Voice is good for the Hyper Voice set. And I just don't think that they're, they're bringing a sub set. We're running Combine Toxic. Training Kiss and Psychic. I was going to run Salt, but I'm going to start boosting up with Calm Mind. I'm going to probably get walled by Toxapex. With, um, with having it resist both the Fairy and the Water. So, um, like I said, he could bring Steelix if he does, and, and this gets walled by Steelix. So, I still don't think that's to the do. Then probably lose that. Um, then we'll be bringing our Exegel with the Life Orb and the Old Breaker ability. Earthquake, Rapid Spin, Iron Head, Swords Dance. Uh, Rapid Spin obviously gets gen or buffed and Gen 8. So after Rapid Spin, we are basically running with a Choice Scarf. Um, we are running a specific amount of EV. We're running Adamant Nature, I think this well. Um, got Adamant with 92 EVs in uh, let's do the check uh, route speed after a plus one we can 180 which out speed out speed Lottius that's not Spell correct. Oh. Oh. So Latias at full speed is 178, and this up speed's at plus one. And Latias. So that was specific EV. After route spin, we do out speed everything. Um, you have to worry about is hair cross could be scarfed or it could be guts, but I think that it's probably. Probably will be scarfed. The majority of my team does outspeed it. 
Um, next, we're going to be running Golbat. Golbat is another reason why I am uh, bringing against Terror. Terror Cross is be like a legit, like it's crazy. Like especially if it's uh, Scarf Moxie. Um, the only thing is, I do that that Heracross does get Rock Blast. So, but um, do re or resist everything else that it has. Uh, otherwise, so if you're running that with Inner Focus, uh, not be flinched. And not pretty sure Inner Focus, you don't uh, go down and your attack goes down, which is not a big deal. It just means we can't be flinched. So I know there's a couple of moves like Heracross we can get flinched. But with that, we're bringing new turn Toxic, Brave Bird, and Bruce. Toxic is for um, for all the bulky stuff like um, Cliff Babel and Tank Growth. Uh, Cliff Babel could be Magic Guard. Uh, so using Toxic, especially because I have it on my Primarina as well, we could find out if it's unaware or guard. And next, we're bringing Choice Scarf Zarud again. Um, running Choice Scarf with Acrobatics, U Turn, Darkest Lariat, and Power Whip. Acrobatics still takes out Heracross with our item. So I, I had close combat on here, but I honestly see why I needed it. Like for Porygon, but like on the Power Whip just takes it out anyway. Um, so after, I. I Pushed out close combat to ac acrobatics to make sure that we're taking up the air across. And Zeru just says Zeru things. I mean, doesn't that, they don't have anything their Monza looks like. Um not seeing anything that has that's the Persian I'm pretty sure. I think it's parting shot. Other than that, that's why we're gonna be running that. Last on the list, we're running it this week. The club, Alolan Marowak, um, Rockhead, so you can hit Flare Blitz and not have any recoil, so everything getting hit extremely hard. This thing almost KOs the Fable, fully defensive, so that's pretty insane. Um, so Stealth Rock, and Blitz, Flare Blitz, Earthquake, and Poltergeist. Poltergeist hits everything extremely hard. With item, if it doesn't, I don't think it, I think it doesn't work, which I don't have any knockoff mod, so yep. So, stealth rock could probably be a good lead. Um, flare blitz for everything basically, except for the toxic effects. Then we have earthquake for that. Um, that'll be the team this week. We can have the W. Uh, I really do not want to go down 0 and 3, and I'm trying to be less about losing, but but. Hoping this happens. Really, We're looking at the extremely bulky, and I'm not looking. I'm not looking too forward of facing it, but we'll uh, try and get through it. The team is extremely good. But like honest, lots of threatening. We need to play right. We need to get. We need to get our lead right, because I think every played this this uh, season on the back foot. So. You put on the front foot, be able to attack, and be able to do what we want to do in the beginning, and hopefully we can have a W. I'll see you guys after we connect with Max. And we're back here with a battle against Max and his Toxic. We're going to play land, did not work out. Which is unfortunate, so we are going to be playing with the in it. It is what it is. Game three. Why you do? Why you do this? Fix the timer. Fix the timer. That's all I say. Here we go.
just in case probably you guys didn't hear me, I have my mic all the way down here, right by my elbow. Okay, so he's still trying to choose his team. Hopefully there's no issues. Um, yeah. Not, doesn't look like, other than Larios, he doesn't really have anything that can defog or spin. Um, given, like, he's I, I, absolutely, he's got nothing besides Larios. Uh, gotta worry about s toxic spikes from toxic packs. So, that'd be a good way to get our, um, our rapid spin boost off on that. Uh, he's got Cliff Babel that, that does rocks, and same with Steelix and Hippopotas. Hippopotas. Um, what else we gotta look out for? I always look for what his potential lead's gonna be, depending on my lead. So I would lead with, he's either Alola Marowak, so depending on what he's bringing, Okay, so he does bring the Stoutland. So he thought I was going to bring Sand, and I did not. So no Tox effects. He brings the Stoutland. He does bring the Porygon, brings the Clip Babel, he brings the Persian. So no Tox effects, which is nice. That brings the Tangrowth. What else did he not bring? No Latios. Okay, so he brings. Okay, the squad is uh, so Persian is still scary. I don't know if I really. Um, honestly, Marina is a really good lead. I would like to lead with um, Marowak, but I have a feeling that Persian could be a lead. Bring anything for hazards. We're still gonna lose. Sorry, that's a bad attitude. We're gonna end up winning this game today. We'll triumph over this. He thought I was bringing Santa. I guarantee that's why he brought Stalin. And that's why I. Oh, this is some nice music. Okay, so this is, this is what I mean. This is a good lead. This is a good lead. Um, I don't mind. Oh no, he brought rocks. He brought. He's got Cliff Able, so he got play. He maybe has rocks on that. Um. So what's he got? Is he gonna be Flame Orb or what? Um. Maybe let's go straight for a Toxic. Young Pickle. He's ran a toxic off on this uh, Tangrowth, which is huge. So potential knockoff, grass move. Um, I think that we go. I don't want to go Golbat just simply because of the knockoff. Let's go Golbat. It's better to go Golbat. Yep. Yeah. There goes our Evo Light, which kind of sucks, to be honest. Now, what's his? He doesn't have a resist to Brave Bird. And okay, so let's go and just Brave Bird, I guess. Uh, let's U-turn, actually. U-turning is better. Bovice, the Persian, is going to take a super effective U-turn to the face. Okay, so... I think... 
Birch gets fur coat, right? I want to go Marowak. I want to go Latios, you there. Um... Go into this. Okay, so he's leftovers. And you turn here. I don't know if he fears I've got close com combat or not. <laughs> Close combat wouldn't do too much, to be honest. Okay, so that's good damage. Either gonna parting shot or U turn, I think. Might knock off too, to be honest. Back in the gold bat. So let's go for a U turn. We resist that four times. What brings this in? Porygon or the Fable, probably. So this is bringing the Porygon. Download ability, no adaptability. Um, probably gonna hit. Porygon is an issue. Let's U turn. We are. We do have some special defense bulk, but if they're Eviolate gone, I don't know if we can live a Thunderbolt. Let's go for a Tri Attack. This might do. This is probably going to do a lot. And we get a. Burn, which actually is absolutely terrible. Okay, I think we have to go into Latios here, I think would be good. Um, yeah. And I think we throw off an Aura Sphere. I want to drop a Draco in case of Clip Fable, and I can drop a Psychic for Persian, but if I go for Aura Sphere, it's kind of a mid-ground play. It is very much mid-ground. And if I bring in Clip Fable, it's not a big deal. I don't know if he is Scarf or not, obviously. So he's going to withdraw, which is fine. Uh, Kawabunga is the Clefable. Yep. Yeah, that does a lot. Oh, that's a crit. That's why. Leftovers. Uh, go back into Golbat here. Either he goes rocks or he moon blasts. See, this game is gonna go to timer. I already even feel it. Already feel it. We can live something from Glyphable, we can toxic it. Probably not, but it would be so difficult if you if it, if it actually like picked your move. Okay, so bring back Golbat. Knock off. Okay, so. A 
I'm gonna toxic off on this and see what kind of set it is. Who's gonna withdraw? If he goes into Tangrowth, that's a good. Okay, so back into the Porygon. So we're gonna get a Toxic off on this. Hundred percent Toxic because we are the Poison Master. Um, I am going to probably just let this thing go down. for a brave bird we will lose Golette here okay so we're gonna get some damage on that so I think going into Zarud Let's go back into uh, to Latios. I'm gonna click Aura Sphere again. I'm gonna click it again. Yeah, you can go into Cliff Fable. Go into Kriburini here on probably a knockoff, I would think, or Moonblast. So potentially probably going could could like switch out and either he knows where specs or risk scarf, so Okay, so it's wish. Um depending on what set this Tangrowth is. Might as well toxic might have protect so let's see knock off wish so far Still waiting for his move. Waiting, waiting, waiting. We're gonna get we're gonna miss a toxic. So that's kind of unfortunate. We're gonna we're gonna get our special attack drop. Mm. Sucks. Um We'll go for another toxic. It probably is Magic Guard. He's letting me toxic again. Okay, so it is unaware. Or no, it's Magic Guard. So. Let's hard switch into. Uh, Excadrill. Um, 
Yeah, I should have known that if he was if if uh that I magic card, which I kind of thought that maybe it would have been. Um, unaware to be honest though. So yeah, let's hard switch an X drill, which I don't really like to do to be honest. But it could moon blast to get damage off. Okay, so we just withdraws, which is actually kind of nice. Uh, young Pickle, which is this thing. That kind of sucks, actually. Um, uh, let's make a bold play here. Good earthquake. I don't think it's gonna knock off. We'll see though. So let's go for the earthquake. So we got a good prediction off, which is nice. Um, I'm literally gonna ice beam. I'm going to give the meanest ice beams off. This will hit everything. We'll see how much damage this does to the Clefable because I'm pretty sure it's max defense. Okay, so this is the Clefable. Yep. Okay, like we might as well hard switch into freaking um, Marowak here on a potential Moonblast. Or a Wish. A Wish would be ideal right now. Wish would be ideal. Oh, it is a knockoff. That sucks a whole bunch. That sucks a whole bunch. Um. Okay, well, might as well flare blitz. Not to say that it would be it wouldn't be like Man, everything is just leftovers thick. Like come on man. Gonna go for another flare blitz. Mostly just tired of waiting for turns. So we're gonna get some damage off. this i've we've lost only one pokemon going down and there's only three minutes left in the game so ridiculous
Absolutely ridiculous. This wants to do. I don't know if it's got sludge bomb or if it's physical or what or if it's special. I don't know. But we are going to calm mind and draining kiss. Because draining kiss, you get lots of HP back. It's yeah. So he is physical. We're gonna get poisoned. We didn't. Mm -hmm. Okay, we will drain and kiss. He's probably a soul vest. I mean, why would you not be? Okay, so this means we probably live another, possibly another poison jab. Yep. Okay, so that means has to switch out. I think something dies if it comes in though, it's a problem. Literally gonna lose 6-5. 20 minutes. 20 minutes. At least attack before the time comes off. No, he's got protect. Well, it sucks a whole bunch. Absolutely brutal. Yep. You wonder why you don't have fun playing. Actually, brutal. Well, GG's to whatever well, whatever we played, I guess. We didn't really play a whole bunch. Played the wait and sure. Anyways, yeah, um, yeah, lost 6-5. That sucks a whole bunch, so. I'll see you guys in week four. Peace.